Hello everybody, Spirit Gaming here, and today I would actually like to make a guide on spending your diamonds as a free-to-play player. Uh, I see this is a really important topic and a very talked about topic as well. So I decided to test a few things out and um, I will place uh, my uh, text uh, document in the description down below so you can check what I was doing and how I was doing it but first of all I want to start with the two not so important things and that's allies uh, you could actually get a lot of value from allies but it's very log based uh, you you don't have a hundred percent chance let's say to uh, get a six star ally and uh, things like that, but uh, I would suggest spending around, let's say, at maximum 1000 diamonds for it. Uh, I don't suggest it actually, but if you really like to, to uh, let's say, pull uh, a guaranteed 5 star ally, you could do it once, but I really, really don't recommend doing it more than once. Uh, next, I would like to talk about pets as well. As you can see, uh, I left to the name. You can see a line right here, uh, left to the name of the pet. Uh, these one have these ones have one li line. That means that they are tier one pets, and these uh, three right here have two lines on them. Uh, basically means that they are uh, a tier two, uh, and that's actually my point. I don't suggest you spending on pets uh, on these two right here, on these two pets. I don't suggest you spend a lot of them on, a, on them a lot. I would suggest you to spend more to this light pet and either one of these two uh, dark pets. Uh, just because the rating is quite a bit higher, but uh, and you will be using them for more than uh, the beginning. And if you go into the late game, I feel like you will use these two unless uh, if some new pets come out. But I want to tell you how you should spend your diamonds on here and your gold too. So let's go to cult the cultivate, and uh, I should uh, explain my point. So as you can see, you have two assist slots. Uh, I have right now. I have only one, but I need to uh, for the second one to unlock. I need to um, evolve it to the. Uh, second form to the ultimate form I mean uh, but I can make my point with just this assist so if you uh, want to upgrade your pets and spend on them I would suggest uh, I don't as a free to pay player I definitely don't suggest uh, uh, buying these ones right here um, and uh, well maybe some of these are good but Let's say you want to switch from uh, Blade Master to uh, Soul Dancer. You basically one of these is gonna be useless. Um, whilst these ones are the more uh, commonly used ones, and they are <laughs> very cheap uh, because they are wi bought with gold. I would suggest you to do this, uh, and I will tell you how. So let's say I want uh, AP. Uh, for my blade master, I would buy uh, this assist slot right here, and I would only buy either uh, the enhancement for uh, AP, which is here, for uh, at maximum 500 diamonds, or I would just buy the uh, AP boost right here, which is uh, only bought with gold. This is because, uh, well, for the assist. Um, I don't I don't know the chance that this ability will activate, but I know the magnitude is 20% of uh, pets AP, and how do you increase uh, the that effect is by uh, getting more AP on your pet. Uh, this basically means that this is gonna have this right here is gonna have uh, a lot of value. The same goes for let's say physical attack. The same goes for for crit strike, for uh, cooldown reduction, and everything like that. Uh, that's what I would suggest. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, about it for the pets. I would suggest uh, to, I would recommend actually to 
you spend around 1000 diamonds for each pet uh, for each tier 2 pet that's personal opinion first of all I would say but uh, yeah now let's talk about the more important uh, stats and years and that is and uh, uh, motors enhancements and gems so I have a, uh, a text document right here that I'm reading off uh, that I made uh, so to make a level 10 gem from scratch you need 1782 diamonds um, and that one uh, that 1782 diamonds will give you um, around 368 uh, rating um, whilst uh, let's say the uh, the same cost for motors uh, for uh, let's say uh, each motor uh, each evolution core is 198 um, um, if we divide uh, 1782 uh, 1782 right here if we divide it by, one, uh, by 198 we uh, get um, uh, nine uh, evolution cores. So for the price of t uh, level ten uh, gem, you can get uh, nine evolution cores, uh, and out of those nine evolution cores, will give you around six hundred and twelve um, rating. But this is uh, the point I want to make because uh, if you do that, uh, then uh, let's say for the free-to-play players especially uh, you're gonna want to have at least two uh, level A motors but if you upgrade uh, the level A motors uh, the level uh, level B motors to level A you will just get defensive stat so that is 612 rating only on defensive stats whilst uh, for the same price yes you get half the rating but uh, the stats you actually get the stats that you actually need uh, which is let's say the uh, water gems uh, give you 92 insight uh, and things like that so uh, I would suggest well again it is personal opinion but I did get all my uh, gems to level 10 and I am pretty happy about it because I, I get the stats that I actually want and not uh, because I am free to play and can't really compete against uh, people that have paid for the game um, so I don't really compete for rating but I just want my stats to be good and that is why first I focused on the course uh, then let's see uh, for uh, the enhancements for gear enhancement, uh, the uh, the least amount is let's say well, first of all, uh, yeah, without spending anything, without uh, spending anything, uh, your um, uh, your enhancement should look a lot like this. You would have uh, three core tier ones, and the other ones uh, yellow tier ones, and the other ones will be probably still orange. Uh, and uh, let's say uh, I upgraded once this run right here the qua orange qua uh, tier uh, it's gonna cost around 130 diamonds with the protect mode on and that is not still a hundred percent chance that it that it's gonna get upgraded uh, but uh, for the price of uh, one level 10 gem you can uh, enhance one gear one uh, orange gear to uh, around four, 14 times so let's say I upgrade this 14 times and uh, I get around 10 enhancements 10 actual enhancements because it's 90% uh, success rate and won't succeed every time uh, that is around uh, 24 times 10 is actually yeah, really easy math 
240 um, 240 uh, rating which is lower than both the level 10 gems and the um, the molars but as I said uh, like the gems uh, you get the stat the stats that you actually want so let's say I have this cooldown reduction upgraded a lot uh, while I was uh, making my first few videos I, I was upgrading this uh, these two right here because I thought I really needed defense for some reason and HP but that's definitely not the case you don't need this much upgrading on these two and I would recommend for you to focus more on cooldown reduction AP, multi strike and critical uh, but as I said um, I don't suggest upgrading uh, more than let's say three motors or more than two motors with diamonds to uh, level A and I my personal opinion as I said again I would uh, upgrade my gems to rank 10 first to level 10 first <laughs> plus you do get this cool looking weapon effect uh, if you're wondering uh, where uh, this effect comes from it's from right here and if you uh, actually uh, get all your gems to level 10 you get around 650 I think it was uh, more uh, rating so that contributes as well to your price which I can't really calculate it I'm not really that good of ma in math um, but yeah uh, that's what I wanted to say so my personal opinion is again I will say I know I might be boring but uh, I'm saying that first you want to upgrade all your gems to uh, level 10 then depending on which class you actually play uh, for blade masters I would suggest you make three level A motors for all others I would suggest you to make just level uh, two level A motors spend on that I mean as a free to play player and after that I would suggest you enhance your gear all the way to wing tier 1 and that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, I will be upgrading one more motor probably to uh, uh, level A I'm still not sure about that uh, I feel like I really don't need it as much especially because I have 5 earth cores uh, so I will probably actually just go straight for the enhancements uh, uh, I will sp maybe spend a bit uh, on the pets right here when we get the abyss dragon as well but it's not gonna be as much and I will probably only spend gold on it uh, I will see in, in the future but as I said uh, I will probably put uh, on the screen what you wanna do right now but I, as I said again I would just go to uh, level 10 gems, uh, 2 or 3 level A motors and then gear enhancement of uh, the way to wings tier 1 and the blue wings tier 1 and yeah that's about it guys uh, thank you all for watching as I said I will leave the um, the uh, the my text document down in the description I will leave a screenshot of it uh, but yeah, uh, and before I leave the video right here, I want to say that um, the uh, gear enhancements do get more and more expensive, uh, just like the diamonds, uh, the, just like the gems do, but they give you uh, a few more stats. And I personally think that it's more worth it to forget about the rating and just get the stats that you actually need for your class. Yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or criticism or anything, just leave it in the comments or PM me on Discord. I am very active on the Dragon Raja official Discord. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.